somebody hit my car. It, I got involved in a hit and run. A few hours when it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. Like this I don't. Hey y'all, it's me, Taylor Cecily. How y'all doing on this beautiful, marvelous day? Yeah. So today, if you read the description, you already know what we're doing. I'm actually just gonna be really running around all day. Um, I have a really jam-packed day. It's already like five o'clock and I'm just getting ready and leaving. But I'm trying to like do everything all in one day. Why? Don't know, but I am. So really, I'm just gonna be running errands, shopping. I'm gonna take myself out to dinner. I've just been like so busy. Like I've been just doing videos with other people, collabs. Um, if y'all saw, I was with Kasanat and I was with the Love and Hip Hop crew. Like I just been everywhere ever since I got here. And this is the first weekend that I've really ever had to myself. So I'm gonna take myself out to eat because college collabs videos everything it's just like a lot of freaking stuff so i was just like taylor needs a day for herself so that's what i'm gonna do so yeah y'all um lennox is about to close so i need to go hop in the car and i'm gonna talk to y'all when i'm in there all right y'all so now i'm in the car i'm about five six minutes away from lennox and i'm really really pressed for time because they close at seven and i'm gonna get there at like 1 32 close at 7 and I'm gonna get there at like 1.32. 1.32? But that's okay because all I'm really getting is some joy for my nose and I can be very picky so I might not even get anything. So right now we're just doing a quick look but I know we have to walk really fast, we gotta park really fast, and we gotta shop really really fast because I do not have a lot of time. I'm like, I just don't. I should have woken up earlier because I thought it closed at um eight but they actually closed at seven dark moment all right but i thought they closed at eight but they actually closed at seven so i was just like let me just get up and go and see if i see anything if not that's fine so after that i'm gonna go get something to eat but i really don't know what i want to eat i'm really craving some mac and cheese balls or macaroni and cheese with lobster lobster macaroni and cheese but i already had that y'all i want to try something different like i already know what restaurant i want to go to to get that but i really want to just try something different like but i don't know what to try because usually places with good aesthetic have not so great quality of food and i don't want to eat nothing nasty because i had i didn't have anything today now i think about it i didn't have anything to eat so I want to have an actual good meal. I just don't know where to go. Like that's the only thing about Atlanta that I'm trying to get used to is not knowing where I'm going, but also not knowing really what to try or what to eat. Because usually I go by word of mouth, but I don't really know anybody here yet. So I have nobody to ask like, yo, what's good? Like, what should I try here? So I'm really just going based off TikTok because I don't know what to eat. Like, but let me tell y'all, so y'all know how back in the DMV, well, if you're from the DMV and more of like a countryside, then you know, we look out for animals like deers and stuff. But here in Atlanta, you're watching out for freaking homeless people, not animals. Like there are literally homeless people everywhere and they just kind of like to jump in front of your car. I'm just like, what are you doing? Like they just, y'all, they off the walls here. Like homeless people are like deer back in maryland like it's crazy but it's just like they just pop out in the middle of the street and it be scaring me y'all it be scaring me oh this is my turn right here actually oh y'all we is here but we is pressed for time i hope i can find a really good parking spot in this short amount of time but let's see what they have i'm probably just gonna go to spencer's I don't know where I'm about to go. I don't know what really where I'm going right now. But come on, let's go. We don't have a lot of time, babe. Y'all, the car in front of me just stopped out of nowhere. I'm like, go. You see, they got a Cheesecake Factory right here. Do I really want Cheesecake Factory, though? Ooh, it look like they got to wait, too. I don't know. It's probably because of Labor Day weekend, too. I don't know. But yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get out of this car because I need to look for parking really, really fast. So yeah. All 
right, y'all. So I just got here. I just got out the car. Um, hi. Yo, he there's a cop or something. Yes, sir. Yeah, I assume so. Really? Without my phone? If you're gonna be recording. Okay. See them? You can't record them, yes, sir. And you got. I know I only got a couple minutes. You got 27 minutes. It closes seven to Sunday. Yeah. All right. I bet you don't come out. Bet you don't come out with no bag. I I think I'll come out with one. I bet you. A food bag. Not a food bag. Y'all, I forgot they stingy about recording in here. But I'm not gonna record when I get to the door. I'm probably just gonna record when I get inside. I don't know why they care so much when, like about recording. It's like, if I'm recording myself, why do you care? That's none of your business. But I'm gonna fake turn the camera off. And yeah, y'all, so. I'm nervous. I know they're gonna tell me to turn this shit off. I know they are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So y'all, I got in. I didn't see a security guard. It's only we're only gonna be in here for 30 minutes, so I don't think anybody gonna say nothing to me, but I'm gonna try to keep the camera on low. On a low while I'm in here because I don't want nobody telling me that I gotta leave or nothing. But I think that would be kind of ridiculous anyway, because I'm only gonna be here for a little bit. But I heard that they were stingy before, but I've recorded in here before and nobody said anything. So I'm not really tripping or I'm not really scared. Because if they tell me to turn it off, I'll turn it off. Like, I don't want no beef with a security officer or nothing. Like, it's really not that serious. But right now, like I said, I'm just really looking for Spencer's right now. Like, I'm just looking for Spencer's because all I want is a new nose ring. I kind of want some clothes, but I just bought a bunch of clothes. And my closet, like I said, is not that big. If I get clothes, I would have to put it in like um, my drawer, but I like hanging my stuff up. I don't know, y'all look. <laughs> There's some strange things going on in here. But yeah, y'all, so. Ooh, y'all, is there security? This one guy was just staring at me. What are you staring at me for? But, ooh, I'm trying to keep my head on, one, on a swivel, because of security, two, I'm just trying to keep looking for, we're looking for one thing, we're here for one thing, and that's nose rings. But I can't even see Spencer's. I think I'm going to go ask somebody. All right, y'all, so I just asked this woman, and she basically said that there isn't any Spencer's in here, there isn't a Claire's, there's nothing that basically sells jewelry. So, I'm gonna just look around, and if I find something, I find something, if not, if not. What? Uh, but, like I said, time kinda thin, so I might just go back to the car and go to Target or grab something to eat, because I don't have anything else that I want, I'm just kinda walking around aimlessly. So if I don't get nothing, I don't get nothing, but, yeah, it's whatever, it's whatever. Oh, see, I would've got something from the broadcast hub, but they're closed. It's a basically a thing for creators and stuff, but they're closed, so. <laughs> Bye. This guy said, put me on your channel. He funny, people in here be funny, but. Like, like everything about the clothes. I'm gonna just probably come another day. I might go on Saturday. Yeah, y'all. So I don't see anything or see anywhere I want to shop, which is disappointing. So I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I go get in the car. Yeah. All right, y'all. So oh, I went into Zara. That was the last place that I went into. But ultimately, I just walked back out because I didn't see anything, and they didn't have what I was looking for. So I was like, forget it. But right now, I'm going to head to Target, and then after that, I'm going to grab some food. But I have a few things that I need to get from Target. Really just some self-care stuff. I might get some more stuff for my dorm, um, like some decorative stuff. Maybe, like, put a plant by the bathroom. Just, like, it's kind of boring right now. It's pretty basic. I might get, like, a little area rug or something. I don't know. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get, but y'all, Target got a chokehold on me, so I hope I don't splurge. But 
yeah that's really the plan i'm hungry so i'm gonna look for some places to eat at and yeah but security did not bother me when i was in there he was like security you know they don't let you record da -da 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 -da. nobody bothered me like they saw me with my little um what's it called what is this like i guess it's a selfie stick they saw me with my little selfie stick nobody said anything so he was doing too much i think he wanted them to say something to me <laughs> but he was like yeah the mall by the clothes da -da 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 -da. i'm like sir i'm a thousand and five percent aware that the mall by the clothes that's why i got here 30 minutes early so i could look before they close like, you don't gotta clock me, sir. You don't gotta clock me. But yeah, y'all, so I'm about to head to Target, get what I need really quick. And then while I'm in there, and I just out of 10, I'm gonna think about where I wanna go. I might look at some more TikTok places and reviews, but I know they be lying on TikTok, y'all. They be like, damn, this food's so good. And you eat the food and it don't be good. Like, you don't have to lie to me, Lawrence. You don't gotta lie. Yeah, had to had to switch the camera like where it is because i need to get going i don't know do restaurants and stuff close early on sundays tomorrow's labor day but i don't think that even really matter uh, i prefer backing in y'all like that's why i don't like pulling in because then i gotta back out and i'd rather back in than back out why was that guy just staring at me y'all like that was like really really weird like, I hate when people stare at me, especially when I'm in the car, because what do you want from me? Like, what do you want? But I think I know where the target is, actually. I really think I know where the target is. So, I think I can actually navigate myself. Let's see if I can actually navigate. Let's see if I actually remember. Because my family and I had stayed over in this um, hotel over by Lenox, and we were right next to the target, so... If I can find where I'm actually about to go, I'm the OG. And that means I'm actually getting used to the area, which is great. Oh, you know, y'all know what I should have got? A freaking pretzel. But I, at the same time, I want his Cineholic tonight. I haven't had Cineholic in a minute. So I'm about to go and get this Target stuff, eat really fast, and then go to Cineholic after that. Cause I want some dessert. I mean, the restaurant that I'm going to may have good dessert, but I can be picky, so I don't want to risk it. Y'all, that was kind of disappointing. Like, I really wanted a new nose ring, and she was like, they don't have a Claire's, they don't have a Hot Topic, they don't have a Spencer's, they don't have anything. And I'm like, well, don't people go to the mall to get jewelry all the time, so why isn't there a place where I can go get any jewelry? I just feel like that's so ghetto. Like... That's just so ghetto. Not having a place where some girl can go get some jewelry. Girl or boy, because boys want jewelry too. There's nowhere for us to go get some jewelry. You got to order that offline or go to Perimeter. But I don't want to go to Perimeter. I wanted to go to Lennox because Lennox is a vibe. And they didn't have what I wanted. But that's fine. That's cool. Cool off that. Cool off that. Um, but yeah, y'all. So I'm going to catch y'all when I'm at the Target. So y'all, I just arrived at Target, so I'm about to go in there. Got my little purse, and got my purse, and I'm about to go inside. And hopefully they don't care about me recording either, but I don't really care. Nine out of 10, I'm gonna record anyway, cause how y'all gonna tell me to do? This is Target. This ain't the bodega. This ain't Beyonce concert. Y'all, did y'all hear about that? About them not having, um, not being able to carry it in purses and stuff. I heard another place they were like, you can't carry signs and different stuff like that. And I just feel like that's ridiculous because it's a goddamn Beyonce concert. Why wouldn't I carry a purse? Why would I come in and hand it? You know, you got your lip gloss and everything there. And people were throwing away their stuff too. They was throwing away their purses. And I'm like, wow, like people are really dedicated to see this Beyonce concert. I probably just would have walked to the car and dropped it off there and would have went back because I'm not gonna throw my whole purse away for goddamn Beyonce. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, y'all. Let me see what they got going on. I feel like they're gonna say something. Oh, never mind. The security guy waved at me. Let me get my little I thought somebody said something to me. I'm tripping. 
get my basket. I'm serious, I'm serious. I'm not getting that much to the point where I need a whole cart, but I do need a basket. Okay, first I'm gonna get some shorts to sleep in because I came all the way to Atlanta and didn't get any pajama shorts. I bought pajama shirts and loungewear and no lounge shorts. Y'all, I still don't see any shorts. Where are the shorts at? I'm in the women's section, but I don't see any shorts. I only see shirts. I'm about to go in this big circle. I could probably go to the kids. Mm -hmm. I could wear kids tops, but I can't wear kids bottoms. They got jeans, jeans. They got jeans shorts. How y'all got shorts before you had regular shorts? What is this place? Bathing suits. It's crazy because I was just looking for a cute bathing suit and I didn't go to Target. I was like, let me go to Super Walmart because they might have more. And I was proved wrong. How they got y'all? They got tops. They have so many tops and no shorts. Oh, here there's some. Mm, I don't know. This is a pair. But I wanted some really short shorts to go to sleep in. Let me see if they got shorter ones. These are biker shorts. I might just live with the biker shorts. These honestly look pretty comfortable. That's a large. Let me see if a large is going to be good on me. Large don't look too big, so I'm gonna get the large. I don't want anything fitted and I'm gonna be sleeping anyway. Ooh, these are cute. Y'all look. Those are actually really, really cute. I actually like these. Mm. Those are cute. Hold up. This is a skirt. I'm thinking these are shorts. Yum. I wanna find some like crop tops too, just to lounge in. I need some more crop lounge wear, especially cause I got this belly ring and I'm pressed. So I might just get like a regular shirt. I'm gonna get a little crop top just to lounge in, just to walk around in. Cause usually I don't wear pants around the house, but I mean, what do I need pants for? This is a cute little top. I don't know though. It's, it's not giving what I wanted to give. Hmm. Tank top, maybe? Tank top? I think an extra small would fit me. So I'm gonna get a small. It's loungy enough. Ooh, it's extra, extra small though. Or this one. I actually like this one more. But I might get both. I might get another pair of biker shorts too. Cause not everything gotta be black. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna keep it black. And if I find another pair of shorts, then I'm gonna get them too. Yeah. All right, so now I'm looking for self care items. I only got one more of the razor that I used. This is the razor I use, the Hydro Silk. It works really, really good on me. Um, it gets a very close shave and has, it's infused with aloe vera. So it's not like, you know, it doesn't, give you razor bumps and it also doesn't hurt while you shave like it's a really smooth shave so i suggest that i accidentally burnt my friend's comb um with my flat iron so i'm getting her a new comb but i also need one for myself so i'm getting one and i think in the self-care range that's really all that i need i think that's really it i need to get shampoo and stuff but I don't see me taking out my hair till this weekend, so I might just get shampoo and stuff during the week, cause at the moment, I don't really need any. Yeah, I don't need any shampoo or anything. So, yeah, let me go look. Do I need any toothpaste? I had toothpaste, I got mouthwash. Do I got mouthwash? I think I do. Pretty sure I do, I got Q-tips. Yeah, I'm really thinking about what I need. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like want, but not need. Yeah, I got clothes, got my comb, got my razor. Oh yeah, we need a new bath mat. We didn't really like 
get an expensive bath mat the last time. So it's kind of just kind of like wearing out. So we really need a new bath mat. Okay, they got some like pajamas and tank tops and stuff that I could wear over here. I'm gonna see how much these going for. Uh, how much are these going for? 17K. Is it what? Ooh, these look comfy. How much are these going for? They're not too bad. These are cute. They seem like they be hot though. I'm in Georgia's too hot for that. Okay. Shit this. Y'all, I checked the price. I got the money, still gotta check the price. This is kinda cute. These are about the same price, but I kinda like the ones that I have anyway. Um, let me see. How much do you do? This is 13. I'm looking for a small, and I don't see one. So, yeah, that's the only thing about having, like, being my shape is that I can't find anything in my size most of the time. And that sucks. Okay, they got these spandex shorts right here. Those are way too small. I need a large knees hose. But these, like, for the gym. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even think I have shorts for the gym. So maybe I should get them. We gonna have to think on that because your girl does not know. All right, guys, so now I'm looking for stuff to just really decorate my room with. Um, when I first say my room, my more common area, like my bathroom, it's just kind of boring. It's kind of dead. So I want to look for stuff to just brighten it up. Like some type of area rug or something. But I don't even know where I can get that from. Oh, they got LED lights and everything. I was thinking of maybe a new chair, like from my recording area. It's just the, where am I gonna like, how am I gonna get that up upstairs? One, how am I gonna get that in my car? Two, how am I gonna get that upstairs? <sighs> These area rugs are boring though. I don't really like them like, They kind of giving grandma. This rug is kind of cute. It's only ten dollars. Do they have bathroom rugs? That's what we really need. We need a cute bathroom rug. This is the area rug. These are going for fifty-five. And no, not for my dorm. Hmm. And you do YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? What's your, uh, what's your YouTube? Taylor Cecily. Huh? Taylor I'm Cecily. To, I'm about to subscribe to you right now. For real? Yeah. Okay. I just started there. Literally. I'm about to post a video now. Alright, thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, I got a new subscriber. Yeah. But yeah, that was nice. He said I'm gonna subscribe to you right now. I was like, okay. Plug in wax warmer. So I'm gonna get the plug-in wax warmer and just do it like that, I guess. They have a sit-in one too, but I've used the plug-in wax warmer or it's six extra dollars for the one that you could just put on a table. So this is a plug-in. It's automatically does that. Now I just have to find a scent that I like. My friend hates pumpkin scents, but I'm gonna smell them anyway. That sounds good to me. It's kind of boring. Vanilla bean and amber. I don't smell anything. I smell it. I'm probably gonna get a couple of these. Y'all. That smells good. I like vanilla pumpkin. I don't. I know she's not a big fan, but I'm getting a vanilla pumpkin because it smells good. Ooh, never mind. It don't smell that good no more. Caramel latte. That one smells pretty good. What about this one? I like the cider and cinnamon. I just got a whole bunch. The <laughs> They're only $2, so I'm like, why not just get a whole bunch of them? I got money. I got cash money. Mm -mm. OK, 
Okay, y'all, let me stop playing and take this up to the front. Start decking for Halloween in October. So yeah, I just finished getting my stuff. Just got my bag. Um, for some reason, it said that plant was $20. So I was like, I'm not paying $20 for that little baby plant. Y'all lost your mind. No way the little oil thing was less money than a plant, a fake one at that. So right now I'm going to go to the select bar and restaurant. I heard pretty good things about this place and I've been wanting to try it for a little while. So I'm gonna go see what's up. And I don't really know what I'm gonna get. Kind of nervous to try, but I'ma see. I'ma see, I'ma look at the menu a little bit further, but I made a reservation for eight o'clock. I'm just gonna take myself on a little date. Just gonna take myself out to eat. I feel like I deserve it, so. I'm gonna go and grab something. But I don't think I can make it to Cineholic, which sucks, but it's okay. I'll survive. Even though I really want to Cineholic though. They might have good dessert there, I never know. But the place is about 13 minutes away. I'm gonna be there slightly early, but yeah. So hold on, let me connect my phone to that. All right, I, now we up and pumping. Now we up and rolling. If y'all see my last video, y'all know that um, I broke my car mount twice. So this is my third car mount and it's actually working all from five below. I don't know. <laughs> I know y'all like, y'all haven't learned your lesson about damn five below, but no, I haven't. And now it worked and what? But the place that I'm going to is in Sandy Springs. And I've never been to Sandy Springs, Georgia before. So we're gonna see what they're doing, what they're about. And I'm about to just go and get some food. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm just so excited to just get some food on my stomach. I'm gonna get an appetizer and I'm gonna get an entree. Cause why not? We splurging today, girl. We splurging. So yeah, so I'm about to go grab some food and just chill out. Um, probably figure out what I want to do for my next video. I know on Saturday I'm getting a brand new hairstyle. Finally, I've had this blonde in for about a month and a half. Mm -mm, no, I lied. I've had this about a month. It's only been a month. I'm stretching it. But it's time for me to take this out. And I'm getting braids for the first time in forever. I'm really nervous because I don't really get braids like that. Because I'm not feeling really how I look in them. But I think with my lashes done, nails done, you know, the tad, the belly piercing, I think I'm just going to take it there. And yeah, so I'm going to see what's up with that. Um, I met this tattoo artist when I went to go get my belly pierced. And he said that the tattoo that I want is only going to be 100, nothing more than that. So he's really looking out. I think it probably would have been more, but I think he's charging me less. Don't ask me why. He just is. But I'm actually, you know, I'm going to drop the piercer's name. Um, I would show y'all, but I have a jumpsuit on. But I'm going to drop the piercer's name. She did a really, really good job. I loved it. She made me feel so comfortable. And I wish she did tattoos because if she did tattoos, I would have asked her to do my tat. But she only does piercings, which sucks. But it's okay. It's okay. But I'm going to talk to y'all when I get to the restaurant. And let's see if they let me record or if there's a place to record. There should be. Like, I might just set it up on the table. But I think they'll be fine. I think Lennox is the only place where they're like, oh, don't record, don't record. So I'm going to just talk to y'all when I get there and show y'all the ambience. As long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private tracks, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child. And then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been. Playing with makes me wonder who you think playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this. Break her back over and over again. Sweat change, but I know that's the end. I want you on scene. Think you know your girl's so funny to me. That's why you think I left by one or two times. Got tired of your shit, you almost your mind. Oh 
So y'all, the last time we spoke, I was in the restaurant eating. Um, and long story short, on my way home, cause I was planning on talking to y'all when I got in the car, somebody had hit my fucking car. Somebody hit my car. It, I got involved in a hit and run. Somebody hit my motherfucking shit. Oh my god, I'm so fucking mad. Like, y'all, like... Not only did he hit my car, y'all, he drove off. He drove off, y'all. He literally hit my car and drove off. I cannot believe it. I'm still in shock right now. And I'm by myself. I'm in Georgia. I'm sitting here waiting for the police. I've been waiting on the police for about an hour and some change. I'm just in shock. Like, I can't believe that he really hit my freaking car. So let me tell y'all basically what happened. So I was on my way home, um, back to my suite, and I was driving on the highway, and the highway suddenly turned into basically like this two-lane because I took an exit. In the middle of the two-lane, I'm on the right-hand side driving forward. He was on the left-hand side driving this way, and all of a sudden, he bust a U-turn in the middle of the two lanes. He had stopped in the middle of the two lanes and I had enough space to actually go around him. So I proceeded to do that. So I'm like, he stopped, it's fine. One, you shouldn't be doing a freaking U-turn in the middle of the street, especially a two-way street. It's like, you shouldn't be doing it either way. But he started doing it in the middle of the street at a stoplight, so that's how open it was. It wasn't in the neighborhood or anything. He did that. I'm like, okay, I can go around. I start going around him. He proceeded to go forward and hit my car head on. So I was in shock. I was upset. I was on the phone with my mom at the time. So she's hearing everything. He rolls down his window and he's like, why would you do that? Why would you keep going? Why would you keep going? And I'm like, why would you bust a U-turn in the middle of the street? He's like, no, you should have stopped. You know, I thought you were letting me go. I was like, I don't know why you thought I was letting you go because I'm trying to get home, baby, and I was trying to go around you. I thought you stopped to let traffic go, and then you were going to continue. So he's like, oh, just pull over here. So mind y'all, he's yelling at me. He's cussing at me now. He's yelling out the window while we're driving. He's like, fuck, damn, oh, my God. Da -da -da. And I'm like, yo, insurance is going to take care of all this. Why are you tripping? We pull over in front of this neighborhood that I'm still currently in front of. And I'm like, yo, you know, what the fuck? And he was like, I was doing a U-turn. I was like, sir, first he de-escalated. And now I'm de-escalating. De I'm like, sir, you shouldn't have been busting a U-E in the middle of the street either way. You shouldn't be doing that. It doesn't matter if you thought I was letting you go or if you thought that da 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 I don't care what you thought. You shouldn't be busting a U-turn in the middle of the freaking street. So, basically, he tried to beg me. He was like, I don't have any insurance. I don't have insurance. He was like, I don't want to go to jail. I'll just give you the money for it. Should be about $1,000. I'm like, the damage that you did to my car isn't $1,000. I'm going to show you all the damage. Just give me a sec. So, I'm like, yo, there's, it's not $1,000. And I was like, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police and my insurance is going to take care of this because, I mean, I have insurance. And not only that, but this is my, my mom bought this for me as a gift. And not only that, but I think my name is actually co-signed on the car now. I think we actually, I tried to do that before I left, so I'm pretty sure my name is on it as well. But my mom bought this for me. I was like, this is my mom's car that I drive. This is mine. I'm not leaving without getting any insurance information. My, I talked to my mom. My mom said I'm calling the police, so I'm calling the freaking police. And I'm getting a picture of your tax. He's still trying to beg me. He calls on the phone to one of his peoples. They're trying to get money involved. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing the underground stuff, no. And it, it's your fault. Like, it's your fault either way. You hit my car head on in the middle of the street because you were busting the user. So I get back in the car, I'm like, fuck this. I already memorized his plate just in case he tried to drive off before I got a picture. 
But as soon as I got in the car, locked the door, rolled up my windows, I took a good picture of his plates. So he had basically saw that there's an opening to this gated community that I'm sitting at. So he went through the gated community, turned around, and drove off. He literally drove off. All of this is happening while I'm on the phone with my mom. I'm like, mom, like, I'm like, he's driving off right now. Like, I'm on the phone with the police, waiting for the police to answer as well. So this is a merge call. I'm watching him literally drive off, y'all. Like, he's leaving. So I'm like, maybe he's trying to get closer up to my car. I don't know. Y'all, he went up to that stop sign, took a left. And I haven't seen him since. He drove off and he basically left me here. And ever since then, I've been waiting for the police. Um, only thing I can really say is that I'm happy that I got his license plate. I was in shock at first, so I didn't feel any pain, but I'm starting to feel some pain from the impact because it was on my left side. But the police are here, so I'm gonna talk to y'all then. Hi. Yes. All right. Thank you. So yeah, y'all, that was the police. So I'm going to go and get that handled and then I'm going to show y'all the damage. All right, y'all, so after I finished talking to the police, he basically gave me the report number and asked me for the description of the guy. Um, I told him he said a male had popped up on the vehicle, but he was like, he asked if I had a picture. I was like, no, he was like, that would have made it easier for him because a male is popping up. But, you know, he's like, had me describe him. And I was like, he looks like this. And he was like, did you say average bill? I was like, I guess so. So he went and ran it. And he was like, the guy that's up there saying that he weighs like 289. And I was like, he was kind of built like a football player. So I guess that could be it. And he was like, oh, that's not average bill. Whatever, whatever. I was just kind of like, um, that possibly could be him. But I'm not 100% sure if there was a picture. I could point him out. But we didn't have one. Um, so he basically just said the report with his name and information on it should be up and running in about seven to 10 days. So I basically just have to wait on that. Um, and this is just really disappointing. I'm really upset. Of course I was crying. Um, I'm in Atlanta by myself. And of course my family's not here with me cause I'm in college. So it's just been kind of rough trying to like deal with all of this if that makes sense I mean yeah of course it makes sense I'm by myself but I'm actually going to go back to my room and go to sleep so yeah um all right y'all so now I'm back in my room um yeah today was kind of a mess um I just got home and took off my makeup brushed my teeth and I'm basically just getting ready to go to bed. So yeah, y'all, like, I just gotta see what's going on with that wreck in seven to 10 days. Um, the cop was like, he's 100% at fault, which was pretty obvious, but it was great to hear that confirmation because that means my car is gonna get fixed and it should be getting paid for in full because it was out of my control. Um, but yeah, y'all, today kinda sucked, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to see y'all in the next vlog. Um, y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to update. And I'll see y'all later.